Hello everyone, it's Leo, and in this video we're going to talk about episode 7 from Tokyo Mew Mew New. This was a very fun episode, I really enjoyed it. It was very focused on Ichigo, and it's very fitting because I feel like in those last few episodes she's been taking the back seat, and now it's her time to shine again. Well, she is the main character, and we have a lot of Ichigo and Aoyama. Both of their relationships, uh, both of their relationships, both of them are in some sort of a relationship. Their relationship is like in the beginning and I'm really enjoying how it's going so far. I am not the biggest fan of romance, but it's a core part of lots of magical girl shows, especially the shoujo ones. And it's the case of Toku Mew Mew. And I am liking the way it's going so far between both of them, even though Aoyama is clueless to lots of things. I feel like Aoyama's character so far has been handled pretty well, pretty nicely, and we can see that he doesn't really understand much when it comes to feelings, when it comes to human relationships, and that is a core part of his character. Before we start talking about the episode itself, I just have to say Yuki Tenma, who is the voice of Ichigo, is doing such a great job. She is someone who is starting in the voice acting business and she's already killing her main role. She landed a main role of a big franchise. Ichigo is an iconic character and she, in my opinion, is being able to deliver everything Ichigo uh, needs to deliver. And Ichigo in this episode was a lot of fun. We had so many situations uh, that are very interesting. We had Ichigo dreaming at the start. She was sleeping in the classroom and she was dreaming of her being a Mew and fighting. And well, that's her new reality that makes a lot of sense. She was also dreaming of Aoyama, who is the one who's, who she is in love with. That also makes a lot of sense. And then we have other situations between her and Aoyama at school. And I like that because Ichigo's a teenager. And teenagers are very dramatic, very, especially when it comes to relationships. They are very dramatic. And in this episode, they were able to showcase the drama that Ichigo is going through so well through her actions, through her voice, and through the soundtrack. The soundtrack is also another high point of Tokumi Minu, in my opinion. I really love it. And uh, the songs, they were really able to encompass Ichigo's feelings overall. And all of the interactions between Ichigo and Aoyama, they feel very awkward, but at the same time, they kind of feel lovely too. You know, like when we look back at that scene that I didn't really enjoy in the zoo, that Aoyama was very rude to her, uh, we can understand, like I didn't like that scene, but we can understand, at least I can, now looking at Aoyama now, I can understand that he is someone who is going through lots of new stuff for him. All those new experiences that he is going through, they are kind of like molding who he is and he doesn't really know who he is yet. And that leads us to lots of those awkward scenes between them. <laughs> and he is learning, like he, he's been a little away from Ichigo, but he tells her, oh, I've been training a lot. There's a competition coming up, coming uh, soon. And so I've been training a lot. That's why I haven't been having much time to, uh, to spend with you and I haven't been uh, with you for now and at the same time he's like I want to get to know you more I want to understand you more Ichigo and that is so uh, indicative of a growth in his character and I like that I found that interesting to watch and then uh, we also have the other girls and we have Zakuro for the first time in Cafe Mew Mew girl that was so so much fun to watch. Like, <laughs> Zakuro is not a social person at all. And she rocked it in her own Zakuro way. I loved that scene of her serving people as a waitress. Girl, that was so funny and that was so cool. Mint, watching her, Mint, Mint was like, you don't have to do anything, you just have to dress the costume. Mint was ready to work for Zakuro, which is something she never does. And that was another one of those very funny moments in this episode that I also enjoyed a lot. And then uh, we have the whole Mew Mew mission. Now that the group is complete, they uh, had a cake for them together. And uh, we could see each animal for each of the girls. 
and uh, each of them represent uh, an endangered animal. Their DNAs were fused with those specific DNAs of those animals so that they could fight. And everything that the aliens uh, represent and the threat they represent to uh, our world and to our environment. I feel like it's very unfortunate that we had that in a very small scene. Like, uh, for me, that scene should have been bigger. I understand time restraints because we're only going to have a short uh, season of 12 episodes. And we're probably going to have more later, but like 12 episodes now. And they have to, you know, make things a little faster. But that scene, it's the first time, actually the second, but like the first time we have the group together in the Mew Mew Bays and... We needed a bigger moment of them eating that cake. It was a very short scene, unfortunately. But I still enjoyed it, nonetheless. It was great. It was very short, unfortunately. <laughs> but, you know, what can we do? And uh, we also have the villains, and Kishu is gorgeous. I love Kishu as a villain. Every time he appears, you just get very angry for the way he deals with his feelings about Ichigo. And that is great for a villain. A villain has to spark something in you, and he is doing a great job at that. And I love his possessiveness towards Ichigo. As I said, as a villain, that is very good for a character like him because it just makes you feel angry at him. And then uh, we see Pi. We see Tarts too, but like Pi is the one who's attacking this episode, and the way he attacks is very different from uh, before. There was one thing that was very weird in that fighting scene because when the attack started, Ryo said that he was going to contact all the Mew Mews. He was specifically targeting where Ichigo was, but like Ryo said that he was gonna tell all the Mew Mews that a, an attack was happening. And uh, we had the fighting scene, uh, and Ichigo was the only one who fought, which is okay, but like. Didn't they arrive at least at the end of the fighting scene? Shouldn't they arrive at least at the end? <laughs> that was weird. But the fighting scene was nice. We could see Mew Ichigo getting very physical. And the, the whole thing about this, there, like, there were two important things about the fighting scene. I liked the fact that it was very physical and all, but Ichigo won it all with Ribbon Strawberry Check. I still don't like the animation of this attack. I find it a little lackluster, especially because it's like the main attack of the show, at least for now. But um, the first thing is we have uh, the outcome of Ichigo transforming in front of Aoyama when Aoyama was laying there and uh, he was like, he needed to be saved and she transformed in front of him. And we also have Pai's outcome of the battle. Pai was just testing Ichigo's powers and he was just learning how the Mew Mews fight. But it's interesting because he did not see the other Mew Mews fighting yet. So he needs to do, he needs to, to create another attack so that he could see that. But obviously the main outcome is Ichigo's and Aoyama's relationship because Ichigo had that big drama. Oh my god, Aoyama saw who I am. Now he's gonna be angry at me because I kept a secret from him. Girl! wake up but as i said it's a teenager so i totally understand it and she was super sad after defeating the monster she was like goodbye aoyama now you know my secret we can't talk anymore bye and then when, when she was leaving aoyama doesn't really know that she is ichigo <laughs> you know like he is so clueless about everything and you know like as i said uh before, I feel like that's an interesting part of his character because I already know who she, who he is and who he is supposed to be in the show. So, well, I wonder uh, how people are feeling, like people who have never watched Tokyo Movie or read Tokyo Movie before, how are they reacting to Aoyama being this way? I don't know. Um, and uh, so basically Ichigo at the end of the episode was, was able to give the lucky charm that she prepared for him. So it's like the cute relationship is still there. Ichigo is probably feeling very relieved that she did not have to say a goodbye to Aoyama. Come on, Ichigo, wake up, girl. It's not that big. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a drama. And I forgot to mention something. In this episode, we see the outcome of the last episode of the public view of the Mew Mews. Now, everybody knows that Mew Mews exist. 
And uh, it's very interesting because there are lots of different opinions. People saying they're cute, people saying they're not real, people saying they're a CG, <laughs> people say they're just a TV thing. And it's, it's very funny because like we see lots of different opinions and that's so real as well. Like in real world, when we have something big happening like that, we're going to have so many different interpretations of something. So that was also a cool thing to add to the episode. Anyways, episode seven was very fun, but I am honestly very excited about the next episode because it's going to be a lectures episode. If I remember correctly, it's not all about lettuce when it comes to the manga. But there is a very important lettuce moment in that next episode and I'm so excited to see it. And we're also going to see Lettuce and Ryo, which was one of the ships of the original anime. And I hope we have Lettuce and Pie Crumbs because I also love that ship. So, I mean, Lettuce also has her own harem, but her story is more like heartbreaking a little bit, I think. You know, doesn't matter. All that matters is that Lettuce is getting an episode next week. Baby, are we finally going to see her transformation? Please. Tokami Mew, we need it. Anyways, this was my view on episode 7 from Tokami Mew. How did you feel about it? Please leave a comment. Let's keep talking in the comment box below. Anyways, babies, just want to take this little time to thank the members of the Magical Cinema channel. If you are a member, thank you very much for your support. And if you've watched up until now, thank you so much as well. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.